Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. Delayed onset muscle soreness is not something that you should ice because it's not going to get better if you ice. And when you start any new workout routine and you start training any muscle groups you haven't been using for some period of time, you're going to get something known as delayed onset muscle soreness. And this is the soreness you get one, two, three days after a hard workout. And you have to understand the difference between delayed onset muscle soreness and the sort of soreness in a muscle that might indicate you're starting to get an overtraining injury. Now, one of my goals for the upcoming year is to transition from Ironman triathlon racing to ultra marathons. Now, although I'm kind of easing into it truthfully, it can still take a toll on my body. On Saturday, I did a fairly arduous run on the Dipsy Trail. And not surprisingly, the day after and to a much greater extent actually the following day, I had a lot of soreness in my calf muscles. Now this is not really surprising since that trail is really steep and has a lot of stairs on it. But I have a lot of stiffness and achy soreness in my calf muscles. That doesn't really mean I'm getting a calf problem or Achilles tendonitis or some kind of injury. And that's not what this soreness indicates at all. It's just delayed onset muscle soreness because I'm not used to putting that much propulsive power through my calf muscles. In short, I'm just not yet strong enough to run up really steep hills or on trails with tons of stairs and steep inclines. Now, hopefully I'll get there, but I'm not there yet. The price of admission to that kind of training is delayed onset muscle soreness. Now, a lot of people mistake that delayed onset muscle soreness for an actual muscle strain. Now, muscle strain is a different thing altogether. That's a real injury. And muscle strains are one type of overtraining injury but there's almost no chance you're going to get muscle strains on both your right and left calf muscles. You're not going to get muscle strains that feel the same in both your right and left quads. You're not gonna get muscle strains in your left and right hamstrings at the same time either. Doc on the Run, we help injured runners run.